to yield the fruits of tomorrow, we must till the land well today. It is this search for a shining future of world-class Indian physiotherapists that inspired the Jindal Education and Welfare Society to create Maharaja Agrasen College of Physiotherapy. Inspired by the vision of Sri O. P. Jindal, who initiated the formation of Maharaja Agrasen Medical College over two decades ago for developing young minds, Sri Naveen Jindal, Chairman of JSPL and President of the College's governing body, has taken this dream to the next level. Mr. Jindal, in fact, he himself being a skeet shooter, he there was a requirement of a physiotherapist for him. So he keeps on getting a physiotherapy uh, support within India then then he thought that it's not enough then he started getting support from abroad also and gradually he realized that most of the students in physiotherapy they are not having a hands-on experience rather most of the people are getting uh, treatment on uh, through the electrical modalities then he thought then why shouldn't we start our own institute or a college so that we can also st uh, start producing the world-class physiotherapist. Located about 200 kilometers from Delhi, developed over a sprawling 267 acres of campus, Maharaja Agnesen College of Physiotherapy is under the aegis of one of the leading medical colleges of North India and is dedicated towards imparting quality education in the field of physiotherapy. With an increasing surge in demand, physiotherapy offers unparalleled career opportunities beyond hospitals or clinics. When you visit an ordinary physio, he will put you on ultrasound, he will do you some wax bath, he will talk to you, he will tell you exercise and he will send, send you back. But a good hands-on manual physiotherapist will use his hands to manipulate your tissues, to mobilize your tissues. He will make sure that with the use of his hands, you are being delivered the best and you get the relief then and there. And that is what we want to create. We want to reverse the trend of 70% theory and 30% of practical with 70% of practical which will be primarily hands-on and 30% of theory. Now when we will, we will be able to cater with this blend for next four years, trust me, when you come out, you will be world's best. Going against the norm, the college has placed greater emphasis on the practical aspect of the course as opposed to pure theoretical concepts. With 60% of the curriculum structured around the hands-on manual training, this is truly one of the unique courses available anywhere. This is one of the best colleges to teach a practical approach to skills like fitness testing, sport-specific training, radiological interpretations, guidance therapeutics, etc. This blend of the best in academics and clinical training is what will pave the path for the next generation of world-class Indian physiotherapists. There is a lot of difference between having a college and having the best college. And that bridge, that gap is huge. Trust me, to bridge that gap, we had this feeling that yes, we want to do something in this field, we want to excel in the clinical standards of physiotherapy and that is why we need a college. The story starts from, you know, from few months back when uh, Honorable Sri Naveen Jindalji was looking for a good physio for himself and he did not find even one and then we had to call physios from across the world and then that is when he thought that in such a big population why not have an institute where we can create world class physiotherapists. The college's location with a functional hospital exposes students to a whole practical world be it libraries, advanced labs, live dissection facilities or a gamut of cases which in other colleges would be limited to just a bookish theoretical lecture. The exposure to such wide and diverse clinical material is rare and anyone getting such a chance would be lucky. The good part is that our OPD is quite heavy 
that around 200 patients of orthopedics they are attending the OPD and our emergency is full of trauma cases. There are other cases also. So the students are going to be trained in almost every subject of physiotherapy. And it's nice that we already have three specialities of physiotherapy here. We have sports physiotherapy, we have neurophysiotherapy and we also have orthophysiotherapy. Maintaining high global standards, the program is a regular full-time four-year course that imparts theoretical, practical and clinical study as per the Bachelors of Physiotherapy curriculum and as followed by a six-month internship. We teach the best components in the Bachelor of Physiotherapy program such as Pilates training, functional training, TheraBand usage, on-field practical applications of exercise physiology and post-operative rehabilitation that decides most surgical outcomes. Due to a physiotherapist's ability to treat a wide range of disorders, the course lays equal emphasis on various specializations within physiotherapy such as geriatrics, sports physiotherapy, pediatrics, orthopedics, neurology and cardiopulmonary, thus allowing students to try and ascertain their desired area of specialization in a natural manner. Modeled on some of the most successful educational institutions across the globe, Maharaja Agrasen College of Physiotherapy provides the students with an environment ideal to pursue their dreams. Located amidst greenery, the college's distance from the chaos of the city allows students to fully immerse themselves into learning and to discover their true potential. A fantastic blend of Indian and foreign faculty with decades of experience separates a good course from the perfect one. I am impressed and very happy to see the absolute commitment from the chairman Mr. Naveen Jindal to make sure that all available facilities needed for excellence are provided in this institute. In addition to that he has arranged for academic exchange and deliberation with other universities in USA, one of them being in Texas, and I am also negotiating with the University of South Florida to establish a mutually beneficial program, both for medical management and medical treatment, surgical treatment, but most of all for rural health care. With international tie-ups in the pipeline, Maharaja Agrasen College of Physiotherapy promises to bring the very best in the field. I'm Dr. Suren Verma from Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center, Lubbock, Texas, United States. I came here and I'm very impressed with the physical therapy program at uh, Agroha as well as Hisar. And I'm very impressed with the broad range of physical therapy which is available for teaching as well as for patient care. I am looking forward to having exchange of ideas between faculty of here and Texas Tech University Health Science Center. Hopefully there will be exchange of students also. Sri Naveen Jindal has helped in establishing over 10 state-of-the-art physiotherapy clinics across various cities in India. These are located within the hospitals and healthcare centers, which furthers our commitment of providing access to quality healthcare for one and all. The increase in the number of outpatients from these clinics shows the positive impact they have had on the lives of people in the vicinity. In addition, Sri Jindal is also one of the first to have dedicated physiotherapy departments at various locations to help the needy across levels. The Jindal Education and Welfare Society also offers a four-month-long hands-on physiotherapy certificate course for practicing physiotherapists. This signature course is completely free of cost and offers an opportunity for meticulously selected professionals from across India to bridge the gap between customary teaching and the latest in the field. Now one of the biggest challenges that we thought we'll have would be to pick up good physios who can be then made the best one. So what we did, me and my team, we made a plan and we started spreading the word around. 
we went to different conferences, IEP conferences, and then other best of the places. We went to AIMS, we attended conferences there, and we told them that this is what we are catering to. The unique thing about this course was that this course was being conducted by best of the physios and trainers, not only from India, but also from abroad. We had best of the trainers from the world who imparted training to our physios. This is the only physiotherapy college that has a fully functional placement cell that provides employment opportunities for the professionals across rehabilitation centers, schools, offices, factories, fitness centers, sports clubs, etc. In today's health conscious society, physiotherapy has moved beyond merely treating disabilities to a full-fledged profession. While the global demand of physiotherapists is high at present, the requirement in India is growing by leaps and bounds. Considering the population, we only have 25 to 30,000 registered physiotherapists so far, whereas we require much more than this number. But only thing is, who would survive ultimately? The people who are having a hands-on experience and a updated knowledge on physiotherapy. I'm sure my college or our college will definitely provide one of the best uh, education in physiotherapy and potential wise I'm sure there is no dearth and many people would definitely be engaged whether they start their own work or they would be employed in one of the best institutes. Keeping this at the forefront, at the Maharaja Agrasen College of Physiotherapy, the students are trained by some of the best minds to be the best professionals of today and tomorrow. Training in hospitals, sports arenas and diverse communities will make you what no one would have thought of, a truly international professional. If you wish to have a rewarding career, especially when you can make a difference to people's lives, physiotherapy is a great choice. Maharaja Agrasen College of Physiotherapy, taking physiotherapy to the next level.